to believe what Christians say about God's great love for them because they've been excluded or made to conceal their identity. It's, it's very painful when there's disagreement. So, although I am pleased about the... ...difficult to believe what Christians say about God's great love for them because they've been excluded or made to conceal their identity or made to feel in some way less they have not been spoken to in Christian. Along the way, too many people, especially around sexuality, have heard the words of rejection that human tongues create. And this good news that we have, that God has not left us to construct a life for ourselves, but God has come to us in his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us and call us, to redeem us and summon us, and construct us as a people of love, a holy temple. This news is so powerfully, deeply, profoundly needed in our world. You know, we, we are divided on this as a church, and those divisions run deep. And, and the church is, you know, we're not an organisation, we're, we're a community, we're a family, we're a household, and it's, it's very painful when there's disagreement. So, although I am pleased about the decisions we've made, I, I suppose I'm not feeling joyful because um, I'm concerned for my sisters and brothers for whom this is going to be very difficult. In an open letter, we together apologise for the pain, hostility, exclusion and rejection that LGBTQI people have experienced within the church. We realise that this behaviour has not reflected the universal love of God for all people. We know that we need to change. of Canterbury says he has no problem with gay people being bishops as long as they remain celibate. Dr Rowan Williams signalled his personal support for the consecration of gay bishops in the Church of England. But he said he would never endorse bishops in active homosexual relationships because of tradition and historical standards that require gay clergy to remain celibate. His comments made in an interview with The Times have sparked accusations from equality campaigners that he's putting church unity above the rights of gay and lesbian people. He also risks deepening divisions within the Church of England and the wider Anglican Communion. And after five years of debate, the Church of England says it will not support same-sex marriage. This announcement is expected to be made official in a report to be released next month. The Church says... It will allow blessings for same-sex civil marriages, but will not allow same-sex ceremonies in its churches. Same-sex marriage has been legal in England and Wales since 2013. Critics say what the church is doing is, quote, utterly despicable. But many clergy say this is actually a significant step forward. The Archbishop of New York said, quote, this is not the end of the journey, but we have reached a milestone. And I hope that these prayers of love and faith can provide a way for us all to celebrate and affirm same-sex relationships.